In this video, I'm going to show you what to do if you run out of space in your Google account. If you run out of space, you can no longer receive Gmail messages, which obviously is a problem. If you go to your Google inbox and scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see a little line that says number of gigabytes of 15 gigabytes you. Most free Google accounts will have 15 gigabytes of space. If you're a school district or an enterprise account, you may have more or less, probably more. But if you run out of that 15 gigabytes, you're not going to be able to send or receive Gmail messages anymore. This 15 gigabytes is not just Gmail. This is an aggregate of your Gmail, your Google Drive, and your Google Photo account. So if you have lots of files in any of those accounts, it could affect your Gmail and prevent you from getting messages. So the first thing you want to do while you're in your Gmail is we're going to do a search to try to find any emails that have really big attachments. So if you click on the options, one of the options is size. So click on greater than and then try to find anything that's about five megabytes or more. Click on search and this will bring up any emails that have file attachments that could be impacting your overall storage. So you can save these files somewhere else and then you can delete these messages so they no longer count towards your 15 gigabyte limit. After you've done that, click on this link here. That'll open up a new tab and this will give you a little bit more information. It'll show you where you're using up your space. So in my case, I'm using up a lot of my Google Drive space because I have some videos there, but for you, it could be photos or Gmail. This gives you a little more idea of what you're using where. Now, if you scroll a little farther down, you will see a link that says free up account storage. It's a hand utility Google gives you to try and clear up some, some space. Okay, so here I'm gonna click on my deleted messages. This will give me an opportunity to recover some space. So here it gives me a list of all of my deleted emails. So after you delete an email, it still sits in a trash folder for 30 days. I can use this delete all method to permanently delete them and it removes them from my deleted message, thus freeing up the space. So I'll click delete all, confirm you want to delete all 900 of these conversations, and click permanently delete. Now I freed up the disk space, it's no longer going to count towards my 15 gigabyte limit. I can repeat that for spam emails and deleted files within Google Drive. But remember, once you delete them, they're gone forever. Additionally, if you scroll down, it'll show you any large items you have. Google shows you these large files so you can view them, save them somewhere else so they're not counting towards your 15 gigabyte limit. After you're done using the storage manager tool, you can hit the back button and have a look at one more option. If you scroll all the way down, you do have options for purchasing additional storage space. So the 15 gigabytes is free. For about 20 bucks a year, you can get 100 gigabytes. So those are options for recovering storage space with your Google account. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.